the orifice in the cutting head converts the 60,000 psi of water pressure to speed, which then gives you your uh, cutting power. So the orifice can be made of different materials, rubies, sapphires, diamonds. They each have different price points and different expected lives. <clears throat> so usually after you've run the machine for a bit, we recommend switching over to diamonds. Uh, you can put them in and basically forget about them for several months. It costs a little bit more up front, but if you look at them on a cost per hour basis, they're actually less expensive than rubies and sapphires. And you don't have to be taking them out and switching them out every week or a couple times a week. Uh, they do require the use of a final filter. There's this little filter like this that can go inside the uh, bullet right before the cutting head that will capture, hopefully capture any debris that might come down the lines. So if we go down here, we do have a procedure when you put in a new orifice procedure you could go through to make sure that you purge the uh, any air that's in the cutting head uh, so you don't basically hit the top of that orifice with air pressure with 60,000 psi water pressure behind it. Uh, basically you want to turn the, open up your cutting head, put the pump in low pressure, turn the pump on, and then once you've got water coming out of the cutting head, toggle the cutting head on and off a few times, and then with the cutting head open, put the pump in high pressure, and then again toggle it on and off a few times. So you should get decent life out of your orifice if you follow this procedure. Oftentimes we find people will put in a new orifice and then instantly turn the pump on up high pressure and then open up the cutting head and then there can be air up above the orifice and you've got 60,000 psi of water pressure that basically tries to get forced through that orifice and they'll instantly uh, crack their orifice which is never a good thing. So here are pictures of or examples of good and bad streams uh, on the left here. This would be an abrasive stream. So it starts out fairly condensed and then will start to spread out with a blown orifice. It'll basically fan out as soon as it starts coming out of the, uh, the nozzle. Water only stream again, nice fine stream for the first inch or so, and then it'll start to fan out. Whereas a blown orifice, it's gonna fan out as soon as it's coming out of the, uh, the nut here. And then these are just some pictures of some blown orifices from under a microscope. A lot of them will be little shards of stainless that might come down the line after you put on a new new line. So we always recommend that you flush out the line for several minutes before actually putting on the cutting head. Uh, so if you have any questions on that, let us know. Thanks.